Mm. <laughs> Alright guys, so what you're about to see, I get a lot of questions about what my morning routine is. Um, I even gave a speech one time and someone asked me. I guess it's kind of like a popular thing. So for the next minute to minute and a half, you are going to see what my day consists of. So, um, you know, about to start out with, uh, with my podcast. I tell people all the time, if you want to be successful, you have to do more than the bare minimum. If you're in high school, if you're in college, you have to do that work. You have to study. You have to show up at class. You know, you shouldn't, I mean, you should, but you shouldn't at the same time feel proud of yourself for showing up to class. You know, you shouldn't go home and be like, man, I had a good day, showed up to class, studied. You're supposed to do that. What you should feel good about if you do is reading books, setting goals, you know, doing stuff, joining clubs at college to try to better yourself. You know, what's going to set you apart from everyone else at college if, you know, th there's hundreds of thousands of people that graduate every year from college, but nothing sets them apart. There's, you know, 200,000 people that have a business degree, but what else do they have going for them? They all have a business degree. What's going to set you apart? The little things you do outside of college is what's going to set you apart. All right, so just finished up my podcast. I am now doing a little bit of reading uh, of my book. So I'm going to do this, and it is about almost 1.30, so i got to go eat soon. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to read some of my book and uh, go eat, come back, and uh, do a little homework. All right, guys, so we just got done answering up some emails. Um, so that's pretty much my morning routine. This morning, I did my podcast, as you saw. But I don't do my podcast every morning. Usually I wake up, I read, do a little bit of homework, and then, um, you know, I drink my coffee, just kind of meditate on the day, what I need to get done. And then I go eat, which is what I'm about to do now. I'm about to go eat. Then I'm going to come back, do probably one more homework assignment, and then um, maybe watch a little YouTube work out. And then when I get done working out, do a little bit more homework. So I'm kind of working and relaxing all throughout the day, which is what I like doing. Um, some days I will literally get up at 6 in the morning, get all my work done, and then relax the rest of the day. Literally hours, I'm just chilling. Um, but most of the time I wake up, do a little bit of work in the morning. Then I go eat, do a little bit more work. Just kind of do a little bit of work throughout the day, but I take mini breaks, kind of watch a little YouTube. Um... But I don't know, it kind of depends on what I'm feeling. Either way, I make sure I get all my work done. I don't ever put off work. If I have a lot to do, then I, you know, don't have much free time. I just got to get it all done. But sometimes um, I don't have much to do. So I like to space it out throughout the day. I don't know. It kind of depends on how I'm feeling. But I want to recommend this book to you guys. Um, the book that you saw me reading a second ago was Flow. But this book is I just read the first chapter so I'm not saying um, that the whole book is great the first chapter is really good but it basically teaches you how to be an entrepreneur the four hour work week and I think it's really cool um, it just gives you a lot to think about and I don't know it's pretty cool I like it so yeah guys I'm about to go eat um, and then probably I'm a see y'all in the gym share with you some uh i got a i got a strength training workout that i uh picked up so i'm gonna share with you what i'm doing to get stronger on the bench press too Alright guys, so these clips here are pretty short, so I'm going to try to keep it brief. But I am doing Mark Bell's Stronger in 30 Days Bench Press program. Um, I will have a link in the description to his video where he talks about it. And also in the description of his video, he uh, gives you a link to download it. But basically, I did five sets on the flat bench press. The one you just saw in this one and the next one 
is 85% of my one rep max. I do three sets of that for two reps. So I'm only doing two reps here. I'm on week four, and there's five weeks. So this is the week right before I text my test my max. So it's pretty heavy. Then next week, I'll actually try to beat my max, which I'm going to try to go for 145 because my max is 140. Maybe 150. I don't know. Though. That's kind of pushing it. We'll just have to see. But anyway, guys, then this one is 90% of my one rep max. Um, so I did two sets of one rep. So I just did one rep here and one rep on the next set. Now, even though this is all you're seeing, guys, I'm just showing you the program right here. But I actually did a lot more. I did some accessory movements as well, some flies. So this isn't my complete workout, but this is just the program. So I thought I'd share with you um, what I did or what I'm doing to get stronger. So go check out the description for his video to um, download it as well if you want to. Alright guys, so we have worked out and we just ate, uh, well like an hour and a half ago. And now I'm at the computer just doing some work. I, uh, I'm doing this project right here um, for school. Shout out Drake. Um, so just kind of working on that project right now. And um, yeah guys, going to drink up a protein shake and eat one more time. That's pretty much it. I'm going to do some more work, uh, read some books. Um, or maybe, maybe read, I don't know. I might read a little bit more. But yeah, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I know it's probably a little boring. Um, but yeah, this is day in the life of a college student who has nothing to do. It's just an off day for me, so. Uh, yeah, guys. But I'll see you in the next one.